At least seven counties in Florida are under a state of emergency for a toxic algae bloom that has killed thousands of marine animals. But researchers at a lab in Sarasota say they have a machine that can fight the red tide. The state of Florida is at war with a toxic red tide, a tide that is killing marine life along the Sunshine State's southwest coast and creating a stench. The smell is just a little unbearable. It's hurting businesses like this surf and paddle shop in Cortez, Florida, where owners Rochelle and Dan Newman cannot put their boats in the water. 95% of my business is uh, guided tours and rentals of paddle boards and kayaks, and we are completely shut down. Scientists at Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota are working on a new weapon. They call it an ozone treatment system. The device processes 300 gallons of water per minute. It breaks down toxin-infested water, injects it with ozone, and then pumps out clean water. This system gets rid of the red tide, it gets rid of the toxins, it gets rid of the excess organic matter that's decomposing. Scientists at Moat use this system to reduce red tide at their tanks in Sarasota County, but earlier this week, researchers tested it for the first time on a canal in Boca Grande, Florida. They hope the system can help canals where red tide lingers. Residents here are hopeful, too. It's wonderful. We've got to take care of our resources, you know. If we don't have beaches to go to and fish to catch, Florida's cut in half. Scientists at Moat Marine Laboratory say testing at the site was completed yesterday afternoon. Water samples were taken, and the results will be processed next week.